The morning sun rises and shines so bright on three little kings named Zarias, Xavier, and Zandon. The birds are chirping outside the window as the three little kings awaken from their magical dreams. Good morning! Good morning! While yarning and stretching, the sunlight beams behind their heads as a crown fits for a young king. I am privileged that the sun gives me energy, said Zarias. I am thankful for waking up for another day, said Xavier. The sun is my visible crown. I am privileged, said Zandon. Google Mom and Zizi Dad walk upstairs to wake up their three little kings. But when they open the doors, Good morning, young king. They were already awake. Oh, hi, Google Mom. Good morning, my young king. Good morning, Zizi Dad. Good morning, my young king. Good morning, Google Mom. Said Zandon. Today, you and your brothers will be the kings of homeschool. Said Google Mom. Yes, ma'am. Zandon said. The three kings brushed their teeth. They wash their faces. I'm a clean king. My hair is fit for a king. I love myself just the way that I am. The three kings left the bathroom and entered their individual bedrooms. They are getting dressed for homeschool. Zarias comes out first. Day like a king, baby. He said. Last but not least, I dress like a king. Gaga baby said. Mommy is cooking breakfast while Daddy was taking out the trash. Mommy called out for her three kings of homeschool. Boys, come and eat. The three little kings came rushing out of the bedrooms, down the stairs. and into the kitchen. Google Mom brings the three kings their breakfast. Time to eat breakfast. I am ready to eat like a king. You are a king. We are a king. The three little kings ate their sausages, muffin, boiled egg, and drunk their orange juice. What a healthy breakfast for three little kings of homeschool. ZZ Dad comes in the house washes his hands grabs the growth chart and says hey my three kings come here for a second so I can measure you before homeschool starts okay let's do that so the three little kings got up put their place on the counter and went to their father one by one, ZZ Dad measured his three young kings. Zen, you got much taller, my little king. My turn, Daddy. Come on. Oh, you got much bigger, too. Okay, Zoraz, you come on next. Let's go. You got really tall. Let me see. Okay. Looking at the growth chart, Gugu Gaga couldn't help but to notice that he is getting taller. He said with his little smile on his face. So you be calling us your three big kings. You're right, Xavier. No matter how big you are become, you are always be my three little kings. Now put on your shoes so we go downstairs and start homeschool. Let's go. Yes, yes sir, Dad. Daddy. So the three little kings put on their shoes. ZZ Kid grabs his shoes out of the cubby. Gaga Baby grabs his shoes out of the cubby. And they both put on their shoes. Google Gaga opened his door to his cubby but he didn't see his shoes. Huh? He turns around and scratches his head. Hey, Goo Gaga, what's wrong? I don't see my shoes. Do you know where you placed them? Hmm. I'm not coming in from outside and, and, and. And what, Goo Gaga? I don't remember. I guess I'm not a king after all. Words are very powerful, and you are what you think and say you are. Sometimes we make mistakes, sometimes we lose our things, but you will always be a king no matter what. Say, I'm a king. I am a king. 
Gugu Gaga says he is a king, but he doesn't believe that he is a king. Zizi Dad thinks of what he can do to help Gugu Gaga believe that he is special, that he is a king. Ah, I'm right back. So Zizi Dad went downstairs into his gym, grabbed the mirror, and as he was walking back upstairs, Zizi Dad says, You are what you think and say you are. Zizi Dad places the mirror in front of his sons and says, Okay, my three little kings, when you all to look in the mirror and repeat after that, okay? Okay, Daddy. No matter what. No matter what. I love myself. I love myself. No matter what mistakes I make. No matter what mistakes I make. I love myself. I love myself. No matter how I look to others. No matter how I look to others. I love myself. I love myself. And when things aren't going right. And when things are not going right. I keep my head up high. I keep my head up high. Because I am important. Because I am important. I am smart. I am smart. I am unique. I am unique. I am loved. I am loved. I am king. I am king. Thank you, Daddy. You are welcome, my three little kings. Now, Gugu Gaga, think back to yesterday and remember where you put your shoes. Hmm. After school, I grabbed my game, kicked my shoes off in the living room, walked downstairs, and played my game. Gaga apologized to me and gave me my red toy back. And we played the game with each other. Oh yeah, my shoes are in the living room. Good job, son. Now grab your shoes and join us downstairs for homeschool. Let's go. Everyone exits. Gugu Gaga walks out, grabs his shoes, and put them on. See, I am the king. Gugu Gaga remembered that he should keep his head high as he walks because that's what kings do. Head high, bright smile. Gugu Gaga walks towards the classroom and Gugu Mom greets him just like the young king he is. Welcome to class, my young king. Now come and have a seat. Okay, mommy. Gugu Gaga joins the rest of the loyal courts at his royal throne and says, Hey, Gugu friends, repeat after us. When things are not going right, I keep my head up high because I am important. I am smart. I am unique. I am love. Gaga Baby loves the color red. He has a red shirt that he likes to wear. He has a red towel that he loves to wash his face. Bloop, 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 bloop. Water all over his face. Oh, yeah. He even loves to watch Google Colors and ZZ Kids TV on his red tablet and listen to Google Color songs with his red tablet and his red headphones. I love ZZ Kids TV. Gaga Baby loves the color red. Gaga Baby, along with the other kids, were playing on the playground. Gaga Baby swung on the swings, climbed the mountain wall, were looking for pirate ships, and slid down the slide. <laughs> oh no, there's Gugu Gaga, and he dropped his red toy. <laughs> Gaga Baby picks up the red toy, red toy, and walks away. He plays with the red toy while swinging. I love my red toy. He plays with red toy while jumping. I love my red toy. He even looks for power ships with his red toy. Gugu Gaga looks for his red toy that his father bought him. Hey, where's my red toy? He looks by the slides. He looks under the swing. I don't see my red toy. He looks everywhere but cannot find his red toy. Where's my red toy? Gugu Gaga looks up. Hey! And he sees Gaga Baby playing with his red toy. That's my red toy. He tells his brother. Hey Gaga 
Dad, maybe that's my red toy. No, that's my toy. Did Dad give it to me? No, it's not. Give it here. No, this is my toy. No, it's my toy. Give it here. This is my toy. Ugh. Give it here now. They go back and forth until Gaga Baby ran off with the toy. Get back here. Back into the homeschool. Google Mom is preparing for school. And Gaga Baby tried to hide the red toy under his desk. But Google Gaga said, Get my toy. Google Mom says, What's going on, boys? Gaga Baby got my red toy. Zika Dad bought me that toy a long time ago. I don't know who this toy belongs to, so I need to hold on to it. Okay, I'm gonna keep this in my drawer until ZZ Dad comes home from buying houses. So Google Mom decides to place the red toy in the drawer and begin teaching the class. Now go to your desk so we can start school. Okay, Google Mom. Gaga Baby was sad all day. And Google Gaga was sad too. Okay, boys, so what do we remember about the Northern Red Oak? Gaga Baby didn't listen to the teacher while she was teaching. Gaga Baby couldn't remember what one plus one equals. Google Gaga put During reading time, the table, all the words the went from one ear and out the other. It seems like school was taking all day and Daddy haven't made it home yet. Gaga Baby is sad. Okay boys, school is over. School was finally over and Gaga Baby ran out the classroom to see if his dad made it home. I want to see him see that home. He checks outside, hey. but ZZ Dad isn't home. I'll see ZZ Dad. He watched ZZ Kids TV on his red tablet and red headphones, but he wasn't happy. Zee's dad finally makes it home. Uh, finally home. Whew. And finds Gaga Baby on the couch looking sad. Hey Gaga Baby, what's wrong? I'll play outside. Google got to draw the red toy. And I picked it up and pretend that it was mine. I ran inside the classroom and tried to hide it. But do I said, give it here until you come back home. Now I'm sad. And go Gaga sad. Gaga baby, it's okay. You know, sometimes I make mistakes. But it's very important that you fix the mistake, okay? Now, you knew that toy didn't belong to you. And I bought that toy for Google Gaga a long time ago. And you told a story. You told a lie, okay? But the great thing about making mistakes is that you can fix the mistake. So what I want you to do is I want you to go downstairs and tell your mom the truth that the toy did not belong to you. And it belonged to your brother, okay? Okay, see that. So Gaga Baby gets up and go downstairs, but he was nervous. He was thinking in his head, what if mommy tells me to go to time out? What if Google Gaga would never speak to me again? What if no one would ever play with me? They won't play with me? Nope, never. I hope I'm gonna get in trouble. Gaga Baby finally makes it to the class and see Google Mom grading papers. He knocks on the door. Come on in, Gaga Baby. Gaga Baby takes a deep breath and walks into the classroom. Mommy, I got something to tell you. Said Gaga Baby with a small voice. I found a red toy outside. And Daddy bought a toy for Google Gaga. Thank you, Gaga Baby, for telling the truth. I know it took a lot of courage to do so. Google Mom hugged Gaga Baby and she didn't make him go to time out. She gets up, she turns around, grabs a red toy. Now give this to your brother Google Gaga and tell him that you're sorry. And tells Gaga Baby to give the toy back to his brother and apologize. Gaga Baby finds Google Gaga on the couch playing the game. Google Gaga, this is your toy. I will apologize. Thank you, Gaga Baby. But this time, tell the truth! They hugged, and Gaga Baby and Google Gaga both felt much better. Can't be better! Always tell the truth. And if you find yourself making any mistake, build up the courage to make it right. 